everybody. Welcome to Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City, along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. The Canucks have a quick turnaround as they're right back into the fire tonight, Ray. Sometimes the team on the back-to-back -back plays really well early, like they're into the game. Eventually, though, you run out of gas, and that's where you have to watch what happens in a back-to-back -back scenario. Two teams hungry for two points, and we are ready to drop the puck. The Canucks take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. The Avalanche have the puck in the defensive zone. The Avs take it across the line and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Takes it from the right side. Tries to get it over to Landeskog. And he takes a shot. Oh, what a beautiful glove save! McKinnon's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to McKinnon. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And sends it just out of reach. With the blast! He scores! Well, this is the sign of things to come. Well, I hope so. I love goals, James. This one is quick, and it's already on the board. 80s hockey, here we go. Wow, he got that thing away so quickly. Waited for the pass, timed it perfectly, and then beats the goaltender. first period and with it a different energy in this crowd everybody gets ramped up a little bit you score early you hope you can now you have you go get another slides the pass over to Jost here they are on the attack Colorado's got the puck against the boards grabbed along the boards by Stetcher Receives the pass. Takes it right in the chest. And we're going to get a whistle here. We're still in the early stages of this period. We got a 1 0 game to this point. Comfers won the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Donskoy. Colorado's across the blue line. Feeds the puck to Beagle. Slides the puck across to Vertanen. Takes the pass. Colorado's got the puck. And now it's over to Timmins. Sends it over to Ben. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Quick feed to Vertanen. Puts it on goal, and that one's turned away. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Moves it to Donskoy. Snaps one here in the slot, just misses. What a chance, right in the middle. Oh. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Here's an odd man rush. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. Tries to get the puck to Russell. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Rips it and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Johnson. Puck grabbed by Pedersen. Vancouver's got it along the wall. Sends a pass over. Knocked away. Puts it on oh. net. He scores! What a little pump left on the play!
Gardner's trying to do his job. He's trying to be in the right spot. The only thing he is is a deflection board as the puck bounces off him and goes in the net. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Hughes has it along the boards. Now a quick pass to Miller. And that's taken by the defense. Scores! It's in the back of the net. Again, these guys' arms are going to get tired. Two goals in 10 seconds. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Followed through to the net, he picks up this rebound, makes no mistake. Once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net, the goalie's at your mercy, and he does not miss. Vancouver's got a one goal lead here in the first. What's the message on the bench, Ray? The message is to be aggressive, to get another one, to try and stretch a lead that you've just built. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save. Five minutes, 45 seconds. Vancouver's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. McKinnon's won it in their own end. Quick feed to Landeskog. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Gets it to the other point. Makes the save. Vancouver's still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Kadri's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Stays with it. Quick pass to Pearson. And now he moves it to Berchi. Handles the puck. Puts it on net, and the lane's clogged up, blocking that. The Avs have it against the wall. Moves the puck over to Burakovsky. Nice pass. On the redirect. Here's a pass down low. Slides it over with pace to Miller. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. Puts it on net. Stopped by the blocker. Timmins has it in the defensive end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Calvert's got it to the side. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. And now he angles it across to Timmins. Moving to the middle, scores! Well, the game back to level now. Anybody that's had a lead, the lead is gone and now we're evened up again. Really nice play. Quick pass on the tape and into the net. So quickly the goalie can't get closed up and make the save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's all tied up. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Moves it quickly over to Landeskog. And it's a quick pass to Timmins. Sends the pass over. Takes the feed. Devastating collision. Sends it across. Sends it off mark. A little bit too perfect with the delivery as he shoots it wide of the goal. And now he tries to get it across to Rantanen. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Now he slides it up to Furlan. Move to the middle! Perperio slowed down with the hook and the official's arm is in the air. Here comes the call. Furlan's going off for hooking. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. Colorado sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. And so they'll get their first power play of the evening. At the very least, you want to make sure you get pucks to the net, win some puck battles so you retrieve the puck. You just do not want on your first power play to have a poor one because that can leak into subsequent power plays as the game goes on. Sends it over, and that goes off a player in front and manages to clear the zone. 
Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Over the line they come. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. And he slides it quickly to Ben. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. Past the halfway mark of this period, we got a tie game. Vancouver's won the draw in the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Moves the puck. Don has got the puck. And now it's over to Jost. From off the wall and onto a stick. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And here's the pass to Donskoy. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Back to the point it goes. And that's blocked. Trying to get it down the ice. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Feeds the puck to Rantanen. Dumped into the cross side. Scooped up along the wall by Myers. A chance to get it out. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Slides the puck over. Rantanen's got the puck along the wing. And now he moves it quickly to Johnson. Gets the puck back here in the neutral zone. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Still anyone's game as the power play comes up empty-handed. Obviously a pretty important time in the game. The PK does a good job, keeps this game tied. And that's just out of reach. The Avalanche have it in their own zone. Slides it to Wilson. Now he takes it over the line. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Vancouver's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Vancouver's on the attack. Quick feed down low. Vancouver's got it behind the net. Here's a short pass to Besser. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Fantenberg. Kamenev's got it into offensive territory. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Slides it diagonally to Donskoy. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves it to Besser. Intercepted. Snaps it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Well past the midway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Tries to get the puck over to Horvath. And now he moves it to Horvath. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Tosses it to Burakovsky. Now over to Stetcher. Takes the feet at the back end. Huge steal in his own end. Joe slugging the puck. Quick feed to Burakovsky. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a chance. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Beautiful glove stop on that one. In the final moments of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Vancouver's won the faceoff. Along the half wall with the puck. Puts it to the front of the net, takes a shot, and that one stopped. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Landis has got it against the boards. Quick pass to McKinnon. Comes up with the steal. Takes the feed at the point. Here's a chance right in the slot. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Tripping is the call. Did he sell or is that the right one in your mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed and the stick gets into his feet. 
and they'll roll the power play unit right back out. If you can find a way to get a power play goal here, you can change the momentum of this game. They haven't got one yet tonight. And you find yourself starting to press when you don't score. And now he angles it across to Joseph. Shot on net, gets in front of it. Markstrom's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Vancouver's got it in the defensive zone. Vertanen's got it along the boards. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. Here in the late goings of the period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Slides it quickly to Jost. To his teammate! Vancouver's got possession while under man. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Burakovsky swooping in on the attack. Throws it on goal with the stop. Like that save as he was able to deflect it to the corner. Great reflexes, another save. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Back at the point, they set it up. Fantastic save! And manages to clear the zone. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed. Moves it around along the half wall. Right to the middle! Denies him! Scores! And he puts his team in front! James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. up this rebound here it comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away Colorado's been preaching better starts they've got that with a one goal lead Ray they've got the lead it's in the first period, there's lots of game left, but their coaches are talking about staying on the front foot to be aggressive. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. And we've got a two-on-one. Scores! We're all tied up! And now their bench has a little more belief as they've evened up the score. Wow, he powders that on the one-timer. Really good timing to wait for the puck and then hammer it home. Here in the late going of the frame, it's all tied up. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Scored by number 40, Elias Henderson, assisted by... Sidorov's going to play it against the half wall. And by number 6, Unloads it, and it comes up with the save. Save made by the goalie. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Won a big draw on their own end. Backhand with intention. Beautiful stop with the stick. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Makes the save. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Last minute of 
play. The Canucks take it across the blue line. Two goals in the bag already. He's got the puck again, showing some great tackers. Outstanding skill as he's got the puck. He won't give it up. Some great thievery in the open ice. Slides it across to Ben. Pedersen's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. With possession along the wall. And he makes the save. And he elects to play the puck. Just wide. Electric start to this one, unless you're a goalie, of course. 3-3 is where we sit after the first period. Join our fan club and receive a membership card. Discounts on the merchandise and team wing zones, as well as email notifications on upcoming promotions and exclusive fan club member events. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. James. They really haven't generated much in the way of shots on goal yet. Takes the puck at the point. And now he tries to get it across to Adler. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. Tosses it on to Rantanen. Takes it across the blue line. Hammers it on net. Turns it aside. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Adler. Vancouver's in transition. Kessler's got him along the wing. Slides it back to the blue line. And he slides it quickly to Pedersen. Directed over to Rantanen. Colorado's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moved in front. McKinnon's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Let's see what the official says here. Edler's been nabbed for tripping. They're going to be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Don't have to argue that call. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. If your power play is successful, you can really take the wind out of the other guys. You've been successful all right with the man advantage. See if you can get another one. Gets it out of his own end. One minute, 57 seconds. What a steal in his own end. And manages to clear the zone. Feeds it to Donskoy. Carries it across the line. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Gets it out of his own end. The Avs will play the puck from behind the net. Tries to get it out of the zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Handles the pass from the right side. Slides it across, and that's taken by the defense. Here's a blast. Receives the pass. Markstrom's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. All right, Ray. Is he thinking about it now? Oh, there's no way he's not. I had nine of these, nine hat tricks, and when you get the second one, it's really kind of the only thing you're thinking about. Vancouver's regained possession of the puck and manages to clear the zone. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. On the attack along the boards. And now it's over to Burakovsky and tries to make a diagonal pass to Jost. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. And now he moves it to Jost. 
looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Myers and manages to clear the zone. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Carries it in. Here's a short pass to Wilson. Score remains tied after the power play fails to deliver. Oh, I really like the penalty kill there. They were on the same page almost all over the ice that entire power play. The game stays tied because of their fine work. Edler's got it in the offensive zone. Centering pass, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. Tries to get it to Johnson. Great defensive play to break it up. Right up the gut, here they go. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes the pass. Gets it over to Miller. Moves it to Besser. Passes it to Donskoy. Handles it along the blue line. Coles playing it along the line. Sends a pass over. Carries the puck up through center. And that's intercepted. They've got the defense outnumbered. Stopped by the goaltender. We're gonna back this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. Still lots of time left in the period. We got a tie game. Vancouver's got possession here in their own end. Vancouver's in now. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. Nieto's got the puck. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Handles the puck. Quick feed to Timmins. And forces a huge... He's got a little jump. He's in! Great save! I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Comfers won it off the faceoff. Donskoy's got it in the defensive end. Centering pass, and that's picked off. Slides the puck over to Cole. Vancouver's got the puck inside the defensive zone. That's a solid check on the play. Moves it over to Cole. Nice pass. Ben stick handling in his own zone. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Taken by Comfort and makes the save. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Big stop by the keeper. Quick pass to Besser. Now a quick pass to Miller. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Grubauer's taking it from his own end. Man, this frame has been like roller derby. It is crash, crash, crash throughout this entire period. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Burakovsky's carrying it ahead. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Out front! Miller's been brought down, and we're gonna get a penalty here. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. Johnson's getting two for tripping. Reaching for the puck, trying to be in position. You're just a little bit away, and then you get nabbed for tripping. Yeah, it's always tough to use the I got stuck excuse, right? It never works. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Here's their first power play of the night, James, and they can be patient on it. They want to get the good shot, not just start firing puck after puck at the net. You'll need more than that to beat him. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. Comes up with the stop. Big 
Eagles won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Uh-uh! Nice block. There's the whistle as the puck hits out of play. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Centering pass! And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Intercepted from the slot. Stones him in front. Outstanding save and a huge opportunity. The last gasp here. That looks like it's going in the net. Turns into be an unbelievable save. Knocked away. Gets it out of his own end. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. From the opposite point. And a great save! And off the save, that one's redirected out of play. Uh, you're gonna get a look at this on the highlight shows tonight. Tomorrow, the plays of the week and the plays of the month. What a save! Past the midway mark of the frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Puck picked up by Berchi. And I think he's seen enough because he stops the play by covering up the puck. Oh, well, guys are going to be bent over trying to gasp for breath. They'll be in favor of that move. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And manages to clear the zone. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Dishes it to Beagle. Vancouver's got it across the line. Sends the pass over. Great chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Gets it out of his own end. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. And now he angles it across to Pearson. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. And it's a quick pass to Cole. Colorado's ready to go on the attack. And that's broken up with a stick in front. The Canucks power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Well, we can't do much more than that, James. That was a pretty terrific power play. Lots of chances. They just couldn't find one to cash in. Johnson's got it across the line. Along the half wall with the puck. Great defensive stick work on the play. And now it's grabbed by Donskoy. Here's a blast! Wide! You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. With the stop. Moves it quickly over to Donskoy. The Avs have it now. And he slides it quickly to Rantanen. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Stopped by the goaltender. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Can't get it to go. Vancouver's on the attack. Here's a short pass to Horvath. Wow. He scores his hat trick on the night. Uh, what a great night for him. He's had some chances. He's capitalized three times now. And on the road, it feels really good. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. As the referee gets set to drop the puck, boy, his first career, Hattie, what is that? Do you remember yours? Oh, absolutely I do. It's such a great feeling. You, you're happy to score one, then all of a sudden you're, you're in the game. You got a chance for another, and three goals you don't even really dream about. And now he tries to get it across to Sutter. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop. Great timing to come up with the interception. The Canucks have done a good job with their sticks, intercepting passes yet they haven't been able to stretch this game out. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Takes the shot, and he stands tall in goal! And another stop! Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the wall by Myers. Vancouver's moving it up the ice. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now of a shot and the goaltender manages to get a pad on that one
Here in the dying moments of this period, Vancouver's got a one goal lead. Horvat's won the draw. Moves it to Ben. Stopped by the goaltender. Slides the puck to Barbario. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Denied by the goaltender. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Fantenberg. Moves the puck across to Jost. Barbario's got the puck in his own zone. Puck grabbed by Burakovsky. Quick pass to Kadri. There's a shot, and there's the save. here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Burakovsky's got it against the boards. Moves it quickly over to Kadri. Furlan's got it on the offensive end. Shot denied by the goaltender. From the blue line, they take control of it. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Oh. That's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up, times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through them. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And the goalie somehow gets a piece of that one. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Landis Dunk's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Fishing around for the puck, he gets a stick into the player's feet, and this becomes an easy call. Vancouver's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. You gotta have a short memory on a power play. You haven't scored yet tonight, but that can't matter on this one. Get the puck back to the point, start moving it around and get people converging at the net. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Puck scooped up by Cole. Turns it away. Miller's looking to make something happen here in the corner. And now it's over to Miller. Off the crossbar. What an opportunity right there. This is the play I was talking about here. This is a nice play to get into the position to shoot the puck. And he rings it off the crossbar. Here in the later stages of this period, Vancouver's got a one goal lead here. They're up 4-3. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Picked up along the boards by Besser. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pedersen. And makes the save. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. And manages to clear the zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. And now he moves it quickly to Pedersen. Vancouver's got it along the wall. A howitzer! That sails over the net! Puts him hard into the wall! Trying to clear the zone. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. Vancouver's across the blue line. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. And that's blocked. Takes the feed. Centered out in front. Vancouver's got the puck against the wall. The Avalanche have the puck shorthanded. Slides it across to Comfer. Vancouver's got the puck. Taken by Comfer. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Jocelyn for the puck and it's knocked away. Up along the wing. Vancouver's on the attack. The Canucks come up empty handed on the... He scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes it count. The rebound snapped away, what a nice shot. But the goalie's gotta do a better job cleaning up that rebound, you can't leave it right there.
Vancouver's giving themselves a little breathing room here late in the second. I would say the next couple of minutes before we get to the intermission are really vital. You'd like to go in just in the spot you're in right now. Pass back to the point. Rister, big save. Had to be sharp, that's a great A chance. Late goings of this period. Vancouver's got a two goal lead. They'd love to build on it. McKinnon's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that one's turned away. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Vancouver's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Another stop by the goaltender. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. They've got numbers. Centering pass. And that'll do it for period number two. Open the savings account this month that Baybank can get access to team press conferences, practice, or locker room tours. It's absolutely free. So what are you waiting for? Bay What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. just moments away from the start of the third period. It's been a throwback to 80s hockey here, and we are underway here in the third. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Vancouver's ahead in this high chance, high danger game. No use changing the way you're going to play now. Here's a short pass to Rantanen. Big save by the goaltender. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. No shortage of offense on display tonight on the ice. It's a 5-3 game. And now he moves it to Besser. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. And now he angles it across to McKinnon. Into the corner of the attacking area. Puck picked up by Edler. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Obstruction penalty coming up. Looks like a hook here. Great hit on the play. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Blocked in traffic. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Hooking's the call. This is what they kind of call the lazy penalty these days, yeah, right? It is, but, it, but really, the problem is you're beat, and you panic, and you're trying to help. And the more you help, the worse it gets. Go sit down. And he certainly dug himself a hole there. Vancouver's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they get another chance here. They've earned the power play. They haven't got anything on their power plays yet. Haven't had a lot of them, but here's a nice chance for them. Scrum ensues along the boards. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. And now it's grabbed by Furlan. Makes the save. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And that one's broken up. Colorado's penalty killers get a hold of it. Through center along the wing. And they'll dump it in. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Here they come on the attack. 
And now he tries to get it across to Hughes. Puts it on net. Denied by the blocker. Zadorov's moving the puck through his own zone. And the puck's booted away. Moves it to Cole. Up the neutral zone now. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a shot. That goes wide. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Pearson's going to play it against the half wall. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Furlan. And he slides it quickly to Vertanen. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. While fans being treated to some offensive fireworks, it's a 5-3 game. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck off the draw. With possession along the wall. Move to the middle. Grabs the puck in the slot. Puck grabbed by Kadri. Puck lands back onto a stick. Knocked away. Vancouver's got possession here in the neutral zone. From the point. Off a stick. Quick feed to Kamenev. Barberio's lugging the puck. Quick pass to Johnson. Gerard's now out of the box, and we are back to even strength. A good work by those penalty killers in this case. They're able to keep... Scores! Wow, this is unbelievable. Four straight goals. They dominated this play. Ha! Huh. Better to be lucky than good. This thing bounces around and somehow evades the goaltender. I don't even really know how that ended up in the net. Vancouver's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. And now it's over to Sutter. Laying the body. Passes on over to Burakovsky. Four minutes, one second. Moves it quickly over to Landeskog. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. Denies him on the play. Scores! All over the rebound, and he puts it in. Get to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there, and he puts it away. Vancouver's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forecheck. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Puck scooped up by Sutter. Gaining momentum up along the side. Fires it into the offensive zone. Great little poke check by the goaltender there. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Vancouver's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Great defensive play to break it up. Vancouver's done an excellent job tonight being in the passing lanes. They've intercepted a pile of passes, one of the reasons they're way up in this game. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Stopped with ease. Away from harm's way. That's a good save. Myers takes it across the line. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone face-off. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. Blocker save. And some good footwork to kick it away. Puts it up front. Oh, what a save in front. Tries to clear. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Over the line they come. Here's a short pass to Kadri. Hammers it, and that's blocked away. 
Don's boy is going to play into the corner. Let's it fly. Feeds it on over to Sutter. Sutter's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Just an old school tripping call here on this yeah, one, right? Sometimes I think you just get burned here, a little bit of a bad break. You're fishing around for the puck, and your stick gets into the other guy's feet. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four on four on the ice. Sometimes you need grit, and you need grind, and you need toughness. Not in four on four. You need skill. You need guys that can skate and who can move the puck. Taken by Gerard. Into the offensive zone. Here's a shot, and that one stopped. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Takes that pass back at the point. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. He's going to need some help here. He's pretty clearly struggling on the ice. Banged up in this shift somewhere. Just wants to get the puck out to center ice and get the heck off the ice. Huge steal in his own end. Horvath's got it along the wing. Hammers one at the net and puts it high. All right, goalie had to dock that thing with so high. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. And that's broken up with a stick in front. The Avs ready to go on the attack. Move to the middle. Right out in front. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Gets in front of it. But he came out and challenged a good save. Vancouver's penalty has expired. Picking up ahead of steam. On the breakaway. From point blank. What a save. Almost like the goaltender's a step in front of the shooter. He made the deep and there was nowhere to go. Pedersen's not anywhere close to 100% as he finishes this shift. He was banged up during it, and he tried to make sure he got to the end of the shift. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Moves the puck. Moves it to Cole. Slides the puck over. Now a quick pass to Cole. And it's a quick pass to Comfer. Comes up with the steal. On the attack along the boards. On the doorstep. Even though they don't get one on the power play here, they still have a comfortable lead. The one thing you don't want to do is give up a shorthanded goal. Maybe that sparks the other team a little bit. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Quick feed to Landeskog. Shot, and he comes up with it. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Looks to get the puck over to Pearson. Colorado's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed with the stop. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Rantanen. Puck not loose after that hit. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And he slides it quickly to Berchi. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And it's kicked away. Quick pass to Timmins. Timmins gains the zone. Shot off the mask of the goaltender. Boy, right between the eyes. Now, well, whatever you got to do, I guess. Man, those guys are lucky the masks are as good as they are now. More than half the period has expired. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Moves it quickly over to Wilson, and he makes the save. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. It's a two-on-one. Hammers it on net, just wide. Probably better off to take a little off the shot and get it on target. He's nowhere near the net. 
Here's a short pass to Kamenev. Puts it in deep. Vancouver's got it behind the net. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Comes up with a stop. They're still shoving long after the whistle's gone here. Somebody wants to go. Zadorov's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Beagles won a big draw on their own end. Burakovsky's caught with this stick and the officials are signaling for a hooking penalty. Pretendant's getting two for hooking. So quickly into position, now the defensive player's got to scramble. He takes the hooking penalty. Another chance here on the man advantage. If your power play's successful, you can really take the wind out of the other guys. You've been successful all right with the man advantage. See if you can get another one. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Burakovsky's got it into offensive territory. Shot! Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. And manages to clear the zone. Taken along the wall by Donskoy. With some momentum driving towards the net. Stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Here in the back half of this period. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. And now he moves it to Wilson. And that goes off a player in front. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Branton and swooping in on the attack. Gobbles the puck up there with a... And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. The Avs have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked. And he loses control of the puck. The Avalanche have taken to the offensive attack. And now he moves it quickly to Donskoy. Oh, what a beautiful glove save! Colorado's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. Let's it go! Comes up with the stop. Colorado's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight trailing in this third period. Horvath's won the draw deep in the defensive zone and manages to clear the zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Picking up some steam at center ice. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. We used to call this the tic-tac kaboom. Nice move, but all of a sudden you don't have the puck. Misses high. Oh, you can almost hold your breath on this one. Really cool. And that goes off the post and out. Gets it out of his own end. Feeds the puck across to McKinnon. Both teams back to even strength. Impressive job by the penalty killers on that play. And a beautiful stop by the glove. He makes the glove stop right from the slot. That's a dangerous chance. Landeskog's going to look at the highlights, see the puck ring off the pipe, and realize they were that close to getting this game tighter. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Good job tangling up his opponent here. And that one's broken up. Moves it to Besser. Now he takes it over the line. And he slides it quickly to Hughes. Moves right to the middle, and that one's broken up. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. 
Chelsea's got it in the offensive zone. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes it across the blue line. Let's it go and makes the save. Kadri's got it along the boards. They'll dump it in and peel off for a change. Now a quick pass to Pedersen. And now he angles it across to Hughes. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a rip. Oh, what a stop. Barbario's got it in the defensive end. Nieto's got the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Jost. Denies him in front. Sharp reaction save. Here in the dying moments of this period. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Passes the puck over to Ferland. Receives the pass. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Comes up with the stop. Colorado's had more shots on goal, but yet they've run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. Setter's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Takes the pass. Quick feed to Fantenberg. Gets the tip. Big stick save by the goaltender. Grubauer's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Colorado's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Vancouver's won the draw and they'll go to work. On the doorstep, quick shot. Gives them nothing in front. Oh, what a glove save. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. The Avs have had more scoring chances and yet they trail late in this third period. Vancouver's won the draw. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that one's broken up. Carries it across the line. Moved out in front. Pumped away by the goaltender. And now it's over to Calvert. What a steal in his own end. I don't mind the attempt here. They're behind in the game. You got to take a chance once in a while with the puck. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Well, the endless slew of penalties that have been handed out continues here as yet another one is being dished out. Pearson's called for tripping. He's off to the box. He's fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. Another scoring opportunity looms here. They've been successful on the power play already, James. So now you get another opportunity. Do not relax. Go pile it on and get another one. With the stop. Here in the late goings of the period. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Colorado's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. Here's a chance to get it out. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. Angles it over to Landeskog. This incredibly one-sided contest finally reaches its final minute. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Big time defensive play. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Denied by the goaltender. Colorado's had more shots on goal, but yet they've run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Johnson. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And manages to clear the zone. Colorado's got the puck behind the net. Carries it in. 
Here's the pass. Knocked away. The Avalanche have it now. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Gets it out of his own end. Scooped up along the wall by Wilson. And the pass is picked off. And it's a quick pass to Ben. In all alone on the breakaway. Oh, what a Brings the iron. Pass to Hughes. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, it's their job. Get it down the ice. Get off the ice. Get some new people out there. Final horn has sounded, and that's all she wrote tonight. Pedersen's hat trick leads the way in the victory, Ray. Got himself into good position to shoot the puck tonight. He was in front of the net. He was a dangerous player all night long. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.